Good day. Good day. <laughs> Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch for another Create With Us live on Thursdays. So if you, ooh, I was going to do a little sneak peek. You want to see what we're going to make? <laughs> it's just a little sneak peek. It, this is a, look how cool this is. We're going to, we're going to make like, I don't know, at least seven of these. I don't know how many, but it's just going to be a cute little trifle card. So that's a little preview. But first, we, we got, got mail. mail. AOL. So first from Jackie Lawrence in Illinois. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> this is a new group of snowmen out of the new mini catalog. Oh, and you guys, while we're here, time for an announcement. Do you like to party? Tuesday is the day the new catalog goes live. And so of course we're celebrating with not one, but two parties all day Tuesday. About three or four different times we'll be partying All over in the Tuesday. Facebook, on my Facebook page in here. This is the first time I've heard about an all-day party. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, don't make plans, Tim, nope. because, you know, I just might need you. <laughs> and then the next day on Wednesday, we're going to be over in the Back Porch Stampers, which is my Facebook group that's open to everyone. Um, and that is where people also go post their cards. So he was perfect. That is just awesome. Wrote, I love that card. Wrote Stay a note. cool. She wrote a note about being so hot up here that she thought she <laughs> this make this weather makes it forward to winter. So that is so funny. Oh, I love it. And then we got a card from Einicke. I'm not sure if I say your name right from the Netherlands, but someone that watches us from as far. The card is from southern France when they were on vacation. So how cool is that? Very cool. We love that we have followers and people you in our community that are from all over the world. And then we have from Sally Duke. Am I right? Let Yes. Okay. From Missouri. Oh, and a letter that I'll read later. Oh, is this lovely? Oh, and we still have this, um, the seashore dies. Look at how pretty that is. And she's just added some color in there. You see, we've got uh, two-tone colors. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that card. And the inside too. Awesome card. And we have a second one from her. This, Tim, this one's for you. So I guess you better oh. open it. That was... Yeah. Oh my that is, goodness. That is definitely the true. ever famous rooster. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful, beautiful colors. I absolutely love the bright blue she's got up there and, and down here. Green. Yes, that is that is very that striking. Is that is that so is. fun. Pam's a newbie here. Um she wrote me a letter. So too. glad to have you here. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, we'll have to read that afterwards. Yes. You guys all just know if you Send a letter to Tim. I will probably be the one reading it, but that's okay. Um, we love our little reading time because I read in mine too. <laughs> I know, what it, but don't we? <laughs> just, that's, that sounds reading. like our little no. But I mean, when stuff comes in the mail, it's just so fun to um, to, to share what it we, is. to share what we got. And this is from Susie. It is a gorgeous card. In Minneapolis, stamped in Minneapolis, but I'm not sure. There's no last name. Okay, Susie, if you're on here. Please tell us you're gonna you're gonna want to take credit for this amazing card. Oh, look how stunning that, that is, is with that glitter paper and then that those pretty dyes. Ooh, that is really gorgeous. And it's Ashley from Phoenix. Yes, my goodness, I know you have had so much rain. I have a sister who lives in Phoenix, so I've been talking to her over this time. I said it flooding. is just amazing. Oh. Between the flooding and then the droughts and then the fires, I just um well, let's talk about so this okay. because that is jumps out at you, but it starts with the base. Mm -hmm. But then I think that white really sets white. it off too, isn't it? You know that um green, that apple oh. green really is a great contrast. And then I think white stands out in a way that like black would give a very different look. I just think that is just absolutely amazing. So, it's like a very summery and bright and colorful. Susie, we need a last name. Sean says her husband, they share their cards and letters as well. Yeah, well, I think it's important because you hear from somebody. It's the same when, uh, you know, family emails come through to one of us, you know, then we, we read it to the other. So that's what we just, I'm saying, it's just a fun, we just love it. And then a card from Barb Bryce from Iowa. And look how pretty and simple that card is. Just gorgeous. With that on the front of the card. Oh, you guys, we love getting cards. That is wonderful. It is. And then I just wanted to mention, 
a couple of other things the, you know, we're giving away a stamp set every week for the time being, just because I have a lot of retired sets and that's what I do. Um, Beth, instead of selling them, Beth is rubbing it in. She says, go Hawks. Okay. <laughs> She's from Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was the stamp set for this week. So these are all fun retired things. And um, whenever I can, it kind of fits with the theme of what we're doing. And if not, it's just a fun thing to do with my stamp set. So the winner from this week, and to enter, all you need to do is leave a comment uh, or share. And oh my goodness, do we appreciate when you guys share. But either on, on my YouTube video or on stamping on, or on the video, either way, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, doesn't matter. This goes to Marsha. Cullibert. Okay, so Marsha, we just need you to message your address to us and we will put that in the mail to you right away. And that one for this week is going to be, I had to do this one because it has been so summery. It has been unbearably hot and humid here in Minnesota. And I know a lot of other places. This weekend is going to be much better. And then we can have the part of summer that I love. This to me speaks summer. That is my idea, sitting out in the shade, reading a book. That is summer right there. It's a summer I love. And it's the summer that's going to come back, I think, this weekend. <laughs> so it is. I thought this would be a really a fun one to give away. And like, you know, we've got the dog, the bunny. Oh, we have a lot of bunnies around. That makes sense. A cat. Oh, so all of you little animal butterflies. lovers. Butterflies. The Apple. kite flying. It's really, a, this was a host set last year. So you could only get it if you hosted a party. So that will be a really fun one. So that is, and we'll announce the winner. So you have until next Wednesday. We have through Wednesday, Thursday morning, I go in and draw a winner to just leave a comment to be in that because that's really fun. And then in the back porch stampers, I just want to mention too that we we have a weekly drawing for someone who shared. We always have a weekly challenge. And so the winner of this week was Deborah Garrison. And then she gets a little gift in the mail too. That, and so it's all just fun. We just like to make things fun. And the idea in the back porch stampers is that the, the challenge, you can post anything you want. So there's all kinds of posts. It's, it's a great place just to share your work. But then I also have a special thread each week. That is the weekly challenge. So the weekly challenge for this week will be to use the fold that we're making today and just post what you did with it. And so once you've done that, then someone from there. So it's what I love about that is we are all sharing ideas based on kind of the same fold or the same technique or whatever, whatever the highlight of the week was. And then we can see lots of ideas, not just mine. Of course, you know, I like to start with giving you several. I think we're making seven cards today, so all the same. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is the host code for only, only through tomorrow, and then there will be a new one. Although don't worry about it. If I haven't gotten the new one up, you I can still use this until Tuesday. Tuesday. But Through Saturday. Okay, through Saturday. What's tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's oh, through Saturday. Uh, I have my dates all wrong. But we have three fabulous sentences. So this will be my last time getting to share these. So I need to share each of them. Amanda Bach. Surely chickens and hens yodel when x-raying <laughs> eggs. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> and Sharsher writes. Um, and I said, this could be our, our uh, team Motto. Whatever you call it, motto or right. mission statement. <laughs> Stamping cards absolutely helps it helps you with expressing encouragement. It's and so, it's just a it's fabulous so statement right there. And then Renee Parisi, this another hilarious one, which is so true. So true of us crafters. Stamp cards and hide yuckies with Xerox ephemera. <laughs> So I, I'm going to miss this whole quote just because these were just really so fun to do. <laughs> Mine is still can't always help you with something. Oh, know. and Rebecca just added one. Put this back out. So, so come and have yourself a wonderfully exciting experience. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Is that another great one? Oh, I love it. Yes. Great. And that's what we're going to try to do today because we love getting together and have um, wonderfully exciting experiences. Oh, we love this. That is so much fun when you guys play along. We just absolutely love it. So on Thursdays, so for today, we're doing another fun fold. Um, I go back and forth between what we do, but I always, whatever we're doing, I make a variety of things related to that. And then it gives us a topic to work with for the week. But I got a card similar to this, and I don't even have it out here from my friend, Kathy. And so that's where this idea comes from. And I thought, oh, you know, I remember 
any of you who were on my very first online retreat I did, I believe this is one of the cards we did on that. So I think is it's just fun how um, all these fun ways, you know, and that you change your paper and then ideas are all look just totally different again. And sometimes this card is done with, as uh, I've done many of these where you do a circle or an oval in the front too, and then you peek through. So I don't know if there's another official name, but um, I'm sure we could find our cards. But we're doing the simplest, simplest, simplest version of this today, and I absolutely love it. So here is, it opens once, and then it opens again. And I thought, is that just adorable? And we're going to tie this one, but some I'm going to leave not with ribbons. We're going to do a variety of things with these. So we're going to work first with just cutting our base things. So, oh, thanks, you guys, for all the nice comments. <laughs> Jackie, that's so sweet. She said she'd love to win that stamp set. Her bucket list has been being able to visit our back porch. Oh, how fun. We would just love that. Okay. okay. Do you guys know what's really fun? We have someone in our community is um, called, and she said she's going to. She's going to do a road trip with a friend this summer, and she wants to visit three, her three favorite YouTubers, and that would be me. And me. And Tim, yes. And Holly, who's my VA, and you guys all know Holly. And Julie Heights, who is the card quilt lady who is in my group. Is that ever awesome? So I said, what a great community. So she's going to do a Midwest tour, and I think that is going to be so fun. So keep that in mind, you guys. If you, you know, when we travel, we love to meet you. But if you come here... um. Let us know. We'll meet you. So anyway, we just thought we're just honored to feel like someone would love to do that. Okay, so we're going to take oh, the other reason I'm doing this card today is there are only two days left to get a lot of the DSP that is on sale. And I'm, I'm using a few of them today. This is one of them. Um, so if you're wondering, if you haven't placed an order this month and you still want to, because maybe... If you're one of my regulars, you know that every six months of ordering, then you get to choose something for $30 of anything you want. That's kind of my gift at the end. Um, so, you know, paper's a great thing. Uh, it's a good time to just catch up on the basics because next week starts all the other goodies. So we're going to take our 12 by 12, and all we're going to do is cut it at five and a quarter. Um, Tim, I have a really high tech question for you yeah. here. I don't know why I'm on such a slant. What did I do under here? Is it must be, oh, it must be the, oh, is yeah. that it? Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> I could answer myself. <laughs> I'm going to show this two ways. So this is the first one. And, and, and this is the second one. <laughs> so this is the Super simple version, and this is what I'm going to do most of them today because then you remember it, but then I'm just going to show you one other quick thing. Okay, so now the thing that's cool about this, the DSP is 12 inches wide, so if we go in thirds, it's going to be four and eight. So we're just going to do four and eight. Um, and I picked the wrong part, remember? I said I cut it. At <laughs> oh, I'm on a roll here today. I just thought this was looking like a really long card. <laughs> Super size card. Okay, and then we're just going to fold it. So the first one goes in, and this one tucks inside here. And you know, if you're ever off a little bit and trim. it doesn't want to close, trim it. Yeah, you got it. Just trim a little off, and it'll be just fine. Now, how simple is this? But I'm going to show you. This one makes a slightly bigger card. It's not going to give you the one extra layer. And I know a lot of people like to make the extra. In fact, let me show you two cards. I'll show you the difference. Oh, we're, oh, we're so, uh, well, I guess I can't blame you, Tim. You haven't had a thing to do with this yet. No. See how scattered I am? And, I should have this nice flow of just, you know, okay. I think, but, um, I don't yeah. think I'm going to have anything to do with it. <laughs> oh, I'll put them to work. But I just want to show the difference. I thought, I love both of these cards. I do too. I like, and I, I like that one especially. Yes. For some reason. And do you think you like it because it has the extra white or you just like the colors? I mean, it I, doesn't matter. I like how this pops and this doesn't so much. Okay. I, I, I now know. this would pop more if we also yeah. had a white thing behind yeah. it. So here I'm just showing the difference because yeah. this is with the four inches, the one I'm just doing now. But how cool is this? That's Look at cool. how easy cards. And I'm not tying these or anything. These are just totally great cards just to have there. I've and been, here. I've been mm -hmm. calling people. Mm -hmm. And I kind of apologize to somebody that I said, maybe I have too many opinions. 
And this woman said, oh, no, Tim, we love your opinions. Go for your opinions. So that's very nice. And then look, see, this one's this. And so you look at this and you think you could take all kinds of papers and do this. Isn't this just um, awesome? Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And now we're going to go back to what I just folded. So now I'm going to show you the second version because you can follow along and do either one. After this, I'll, I'll do more of this only because it's quicker while we're on here live. Uh, yes, Rebecca, you and LaVar should come to the cities. Yes, we yes. could have a play date here at our house. That would be fun. Um, okay, so this one, if you remember, was five and a quarter and then left the whole way. Now, when I want to go a quarter smaller, this is the only other important measurement to remember. And this will all be on my blog uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, I have a really busy day today, so it might be tomorrow morning, but I'll try for tonight. So instead of five and a quarter, I'm going to cut it at five. Mine might have extra folds in it because, you know, I already played with that one idea with folds, um, but that's okay. Um, oh, so that is going to take care of... I'm going to find my papers here. Okay. Oh, well, okay. This is going to give me that extra quarter inch smaller so that I can add another layer on it. Now, of course, I need this to be narrower too. So this is how I'm going to do this. These are each four inches. And you know we want to go quarter inch smaller. So now I'm scoreboard. You know, let me figure out. Okay, this is going to be my front. So I'm going to do three and three quarters and I'm just going to fold on that and we're going to ignore the other extra folds. This one just has extra detail to it. I think that was what Tim did. So yeah, oh, we'll blame it on Tim. This is the size I want now. And instead of remembering like three and three quarters and then whatever that is doubled, look at this. I'm just going to fold it. And oh, I'm off to a great start, you guys. I want three and three quarters. <laughs> I didn't even do, I didn't even do that right. Okay. Tim keeps okay. making mistakes. I wanted three and three quarters. If any of you could see the details, uh, you might have been laughing at me already thinking, oh, that's pretty funny. She's nowhere near that. Now look how cool. I've got three and three quarters again. Wow. So <laughs> I just like that. Okay. And then I'm actually going to cut off three quarters at the end. So now I have a choice. I could just do this first. So do whatever's easier. We dwell in the land of possibilities. Wait, this helmet's crooked. Uh, you, you know what? You know what, Tim? Let's start with a new page. What do you think? No, I think <laughs> good enough is good enough. Sometimes good enough isn't quite good enough. Let's use let's use this. This will be a totally different different one from the same paper, but we'll try something else. Okay. So I'm going to do this at five. <laughs> um, if you wondered if you had time to create along with us to even get your stuff or do whatever. You do. Yeah, you do. So just, just know, get any of your paper. I always suggest doing your first ones. <laughs> if you're watching me, you can see why. On something you don't care about a lot. So if it doesn't turn out, mm, no big deal. Okay, so this one I cut at five inches. And I'm going to do it. This is just the way I think visually is easier than just you saying, oh, you cut off three quarters of an inch off the side. You could do that. Otherwise, we could go right here. And we can go for three and three quarters. I'm going to fold that over. This is such gorgeous paper, this hand pen, you guys. I think it's, oh, it's got to be one of our top, top papers. And it is on sale through Saturday. And then to see how this one folds over. Oh, so this is the right size. And now I'm just going to cut that and part it's off. straight. And so this is, and it is straight. So that's really good. And if you see this, this is going to be three quarters off. I'm even going to do this to just show if you want. Okay. This is where I'm going to cut it off then. This is my next three and three quarters. I don't know if I got that straight, but good enough. I'm back to good enough is good enough. Okay. So we'll put this on and I'm going to put that where I think it's going to be. I'm going to open that because I don't really want to catch that in there. And I'll see if I can remember it. Okay. Think. I think we've got it. Now, how cool is this? Very cool. And you know what? That isn't quite loose enough. So that's what I meant by just, um, you can just play with it and make it a little little bit shorter if you want. I'll make that plenty shorter here. Just to see that, but I thought. So that's just really cool. So this is how you would make the smaller size. Now, for the sake of time, we're going to do just larger sizes. 
of the cards we're going to make today, but then I'm going to show one then with the smaller size. And then, of course, you're going to want it to open um, so it looks directly up. And this is going to be, and then I'm going to fussy cut. I'm just using the paper here, if you notice. So this was fussy cut. I can take this and I'll just fussy cut one of these little things and do the same thing on the front. I think doing a bunch of the papers in this would make such a pretty set of cards to give someone. And you can put all different words on and you've got a beautiful gift set right there. So, okay, so those are the two ways that we're gonna do it. And then of course, this is the stamp set that goes with it. But this is where I was just gonna show when you cut off the edges, this is the other thing we're going to talk about. You, No matter which size you cut for the two cards, you're going to end up with some strips at the end, at least an inch, and it might be an inch and a half. And so we're going to do a variety of these things. You can, of course, just get rid of them. I didn't use them on everything. But notice how they're going to fit right across. I'm going to get three of these. So on this one, so again, we are using both sides of the paper and showing both sides. And I think that's just pretty fun. So to see how that goes like that. And then this is going to go right on here. Um, now what, did I, did I, no, this might be a, an off day of measuring. I'm gonna show you something. We're fixing all kinds of mistakes today. You know, this is real life crafting. This is, Karen <laughs> thinks that she goes too fast sometimes. So she decided <laughs> to slow down by making mistakes. By so. making lots of mistakes. <laughs> I didn't like, it went too far to the end to me. And this is the other thing you can do if you get things a little bit crooked. See, I just cut a little off the end, you know. You never know what kind of went behind the scenes. But how cool is this? I and think, then this is it. I think they do because we're documenting <laughs> on video. You know, I was realizing the other day, I send out at least 100 cards a month. I'd love to know how many you send out. So you guys can just put on there how many you send out. But that's one of the reasons. And I do love quick and easy cards. But things with that are a little bit different. So I love things like this because it just helps me build my stash too. Okay, so this is this. Okay, now next time I add the ribbon, I'm gonna show how we'd add the ribbon actually beforehand since I forgot that this time. There is really no measurement for this. This is whatever size you want. Um, one of these sizes I know is a three by four because I use that size a lot if you're just wanting something to go by. And then sometimes I make it smaller, sometimes I make it bigger. On this one, because it doesn't have that middle part, I decided to add an extra little thing up here. Does, does that make sense, Tim? Just see what I'm trying to do there, just so I added a little more color to it. Because this kind of has the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Well, they were both supposed to have the ribbons. So I guess the ribbons isn't the good idea. The, um, the other one has the extra layer here. So I thought as a little way to help set this off a little more, I added another extra little layer here. But those are the two differences, and they are just really, really beautiful cards. And this will go in there like that. Now, I wanted to come back and show this one because when you get your edges, these two are just flat. This is just this, the back side of the edge. So do you see how they, they coordinate the inside and the out? So it's another fun card like that. On this one, I took two of those because you get three little strips when you're done. Hmm. Um, and I just built like a little patio or brick wall or something I didn't even to hold my before. planter. So to just do Two something different. different. Yeah. So, you know, you can just kind of do whatever you want with these. And just adding a little thing on the inside. Oh, somebody says 50 cards a month. Um, ooh, Marlene does 50 cards a week. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you've got me beat. Oh, <laughs> um, we all... Oh, give you credit for that. That is just amazing. Okay, Tim, I'm going to have you try scoring one of these. <laughs> I think Seriously? we'll just do the four-inch one. Seriously. Because I'm. So now we're going to still okay. talk about some other differences. So because it's 12, you're just going to score it four and eight and fold it up. The fat one or the excuse me. I prefer using the fat. I don't know what other people do. I think it is less likely to ever tear anything. So I just have better luck with the four inches. Four inches. So go down. Mm-hmm. This is one of the new papers and then eight. Or you can do the fold it up and then do four like I showed. So okay. kind of either way. Okay. And then you're going to fold that up. This way. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever whatever you want on the outside. I did. You know what I did with this card? I put it on the outside. Actually, I should I show you the card that I did? 
-hmm. because it's going to be a gift card holder because mm -hmm. you know because it's got the presence this is one of the new papers starting on tuesday is it stunning and here you'll see i just took a little bit of that and i actually backed it just gonna, on some planes so you're gonna be different kate and do it the other way um and then on this one i'm gonna show a couple of different ways here so then this one has that extra little layer i'm gonna open this one so see he'll do it the other way and then it, and you know on his it's like you're going to open it and it's presence galore. What can we say? Ooh, yeah. So look at that. What a surprise. And you open it and then you have a gift card. Yes. That's a great idea. I like that idea. Okay. <laughs> and I just put in a gift card, of course, that had presents. Yep. And then you'll put your note down there. So I thought, how fun is that? This one I picked. Notice this one does not have ribbon. This one I added ribbon, but I did not put anything across here. Instead of using this, I use the cutoff pieces to cut out these presents because I could get enough solid presents on there. So see, it's whatever you want to do to make, this makes really good use out of your paper. And how do you, how did you already get a Christmas card from? <laughs> we have I a have, collection, don't I we? Have a and collection. look at this one for my fave. This one I was going to give you, Tim. Oh. For my fave. Isn't that great? It just fits the colors. You know, it's got that fun pink. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> Yeah, we do have a collection from all this time working at Starbucks. And this will be really fun because you'll open it this way. Let me see if I have, um, I should have pieces to put this one together, but I might not. Some of these I have pieces out to finish and some I don't. So I guess we'll finish it. I guess we'll finish it later, but it will be finished. I'll put it on my blog with the others, but I think how fun is that? And then I just took the words, thinking of you this festive season and put a couple presents, great little fussy cutting on these. But then notice, you know, you really don't need the ribbon. It's really however you choose to decorate it. So, so how fun is that? that card? Um, yes, do you wrap the ribbon for attached to the batting, backing? Well, I didn't cut paper. If you want us to pause this for 10 minutes and bring no, out, no, okay, no, okay, okay, just one. <laughs> but, but I will, we will finish this one and put it with the others because I think it's really fun to do the reverse. The other thing I love about folds like this is you can sit down and create a whole bunch of cards, but they can all look different, even if you're using the same paper pack, you know? And if you use the same paper pack, you can come up with a design for the front that kind of works for all of them. And then it's still fun and easy. Okay, so now we'll do one that will show how to wrap the, okay. How adorable is this? <laughs> Santa Paws is coming to town. <laughs> Okay. Cute. Hey. okay, I'm going to have you try this one and see if you can do, do better than I did. This is this. Oh, I guess, no, this is still the big one. So it's four and eight. Four and eight. Yep. And you can pick whichever side you want on the outside. We're going to do the same thing. And then a couple things I'm going to point out about this one. We have the ribbon again here. This would be really a fun one to send to, um, to the grandkids. I'm thinking I'll just have the little... Mouse. I love using papers, you know, to fussy cut and create some fun things. So this one has yeah. the two I layers. Folding them, I already I decided. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I didn't decide. I just I just oh. started doing but, it. But but you can still change your mind. What's your thought? I'm gonna leave it that way. Or and otherwise, this will be the band across, and this will become the you know, it'll be just the reverse. So should we try one the reverse? Let's yes, let's try. And I'm going to be Tim's personal assistant, <laughs> and add. <laughs> the yes. glue is most hated thing. <laughs> so you put that wherever you want on the card. This is kind of basically what, what you've got going here. And I'll put the measurements for the two insides. Oh, it's too long. Oh, that's no problem. Fussy cut. Fussy cut or real cut. Um, well, yeah, I've got to have a few... Uh, a few things going on here. Okay, we'll just do that and cut that right off. <laughs> Thank you. And now, yes, this is going to be the, oh, first I was going to put the inside. I will put the measurements on, but really the inside is just this inside going a quarter, half inch, any anything you want at all. Depends on what you're going to put inside. It really doesn't matter. Oh, that's really fun. So here's going to be Santa Paws. 
But before I'll put that on last, next I'm going to do the ribbon before it goes on the base card. Um, okay, so this time it's just going to go on the base card. What would you what would you rather have? You only get one color today. And it's going to have this ribbon. So pick which color you want. What do you think? I, I, I don't, okay. I like. And then this right. is how we're going to do the ribbon. The ribbon is going to come next. Okay, and I'm going to make sure, okay, that will be plenty. And then I come back here and attach this first. So I can, well, I can attach this different ways. I want it to get it a little connected on the paper too. So however, I'm going to connect it. And then that will keep the ribbon also from pulling out. It's just going to keep it. Brilliant. So how cool is that? And then this will go on the top. And for this, you know, my favorite thing. I I love my blue I dots. love my glue dots. <laughs> I I, uh, I go through so many of these. I just put these in the four corners, and you can put that on. She also loves those little little things. These. That Yes. Yes, and, these two. There's dots all over, <laughs> all over the house. The house. Tell me I'm not the only one. In our bed. And he'll laugh and he'll say, okay. um, when are you vacuuming next? Vacuuming what? is the only household chore that I do. I'm just going to tell you that because uh, uh, with Tim's allergies, I do that. So I'm a proud vacuumer and nothing else. <laughs> no, it's crooked. That doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna pop this up. So here is the cute little dog. Now we have a, a grand dog. We have a couple of them. So these actually would be fun okay, cards to send to them. Oh, that's probably, well, that's, it just, it could be a little added thing. We do. And the grand dog really favors me. It comes. Mm -hmm, it does. Instead of its owner or daughter, it comes and lays down next to me. And that certainly so instead of me. So, okay, now I'm looking for uh, scissors. Although that, could be, oh, here's one. I'm going to say, say scissors not, could be overrated. This is really no different than, I like difference. And this is just about the very same. Okay, I, I cut this one too short. And that reminds me of that, you know, that favorite story. Strings too short to be saved. It could be ribbons too short to be tied. <laughs> um, so instead, we're going to go with this kind of a ribbon. Look at this. So this yes. is what's going to be different, Tim. It's going to be like a, <laughs> um, sometimes it's just necessity. Does that feel different enough to you? Oh, I like it. <laughs> but it's a little harder to pull tight. There we go. Okay. Thanks. How about that? <laughs> yeah, today there's not probably because I pre-did a lot of these tops. <laughs> so Tim won't be in his Ooh. element of just seeing what he can do that's totally different. But I think I think these, and look at, they're both really cute. They are. I think it's really fun to see the diverse. And yes, you are showing both sides of the paper, which is cute. Marlene says she has dots all over the house too. I said, yes. Well, you know, it's like a party. It's confetti. It's, yeah. You know, it's a... <laughs> we have some on our camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I don't actually think we need to make the rest of these. Let's just fold a couple more so that no one forgets. Because this is really a fun one. Including... We Tim. actually are watching the time today because we do have... Well, that's right. A care conference for my mom today. So four, four, and eight, and the only other measurement, and then this is five and a quarter. So if you're making a smaller size, the only other measurement is five wide and three and three quarters. So I think this is just really fun. So we're expecting to see all kinds of different papers. Doesn't need to be stamping up anything you have. All kinds of ideas using this card in the backcourt stampers, and that's what the. Drawing before while he's making that. It's actually, it's, I don't know. Well, it, it's whatever you like. This is actually well, this, the cover I have good. ready, but that which would actually be fine because we'd have this busy part across the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that looks cool. Or we could decide to change the colors on that too. That's a whole other option because that looks great too. Yeah, and I like are, that. These are vines hanging down in a jungle, so that's why they're that way. Yes, and I just want to point out this time we're using um, twine. And when you open it, oh, see, we have wow. another. Oh, and mine are hanging down, too. That's interesting. Oh, my goodness. Mine, mine wasn't planned. I didn't go through the <laughs> thought process that you did. Mine was happenstance. But isn't that fun? And see, this doesn't come out because it's just attached there. This paper is on sale, too, and it makes some. And here's another one that's on sale. And 
Um, oh, Linda says she has dots and slivers of paper all over hers. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Marlene. She asked about my mom. My mom is, she's doing, she's doing well. But um, yeah, it's, it's hard. Okay, so here is another one. On this one, I'm going to see. On one of, oh, I was going to point out on this one, I did not love this going across the front. So I just want to point out options. So I just, you know, in my scrap bucket, of which I'm sure none of you have one, I just found another of the piece of paper that I like better going across mm. and use the same thing. So I just want to point out that that's another option. This one again is showing, I used a different one here too. So, you know, you have the options either way, but I thought I just, and I thought this is such pretty paper when you open it, that you couldn't really tell what it was going across. Mm -hmm. So again, I switched, but it's that same idea. I think this is really fun. And then I wanted to also show, I had a request on Monday and I said, oh, I'll show it. Someone said, I don't know how you attach a vellum. And I thought, oh, I'll quickly show it. And then I forgot. So I had to do something with vellum. So this is really just to show how you attach vellum, but, this is fun too. This is the new Harvest Meadow cards. Just okay. added the little bumblebee. Bumblebee. So I'm just gonna do one more fold here. Oh, and let's do it the opposite way then, since we're kind of doing this in opposites. Four and eight. That was your contribution to today, Tim. I was yes. gonna be boring and just do them the very yes. same way. And look what you created. Variety. Let's go for variety. The spice of life. Okay, and okay, I could either cut the end off or do you want to see another? Or I can do this. That's fine too. Okay. When we're in a rush, that works too. Now it's not totally straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. You know, designer series paper is so pliable. You can kind of just work with it and do this. Well, this is going to be fun. So I'll finish these. It's so forgiving. And show the opposites of, of these cards that we we're talking about today. But this is the part that I wanted to show then. And on this particular card, well, let's see what I, here I did three strips. So to see, I just took this part and did three strips. This time I'm just going to do this. So it's all in whatever you want to do. This is going to go across. Oh, and that's too big too, but that won't matter. I, oh, I'll just fussy cut this one. And here is my vellum. So this is just a little reminder. Now, actually, on a card like this, you don't need this tip because if you notice, my vellum does not stick up there. I just put my vellum where you aren't going to see it, that adhesive. So yeah. that's tip number one. If you're going to see it, though, this is every now and then I like to show it because if you are new to watching this or if you're like me and sometimes you forget things you've learned in the past and need to be reminded, this is how we do it. I have multi-purpose glue. I put some on my silicone mat. I use this mat for everything. I've got a bit of a sponge and you can use any kind of a sponge. I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna put it all over and make sure I put some on the top and bottom so that you can see that it really doesn't show. And then I'm going to put that on. And now this one is going to be on here just really tight. And when it's dry, it is see-through. It's, you aren't going to notice a thing. Now, before I put I this on. see through when it's wet. <laughs> yeah, you really can't even now, can you? No. But I'm going to put my string around, or then I'll finish that. So anyway, I'm going to just put these out again. Tell me what your favorite is. I would love to know what you, let's do it. Well, so, so that they look more similar. We'll do all the ones that are the little smaller size, because I have more of those here. But I think, um, this, I don't know, was this all of them? Uh, I think we're missing the hand pinned. No, it's not all of them. Look at this. It is not all of them. Boy, we made a lot of cards in a short time. But I hope you have fun with this idea. And then come join us in the Back Porch Stamper. Show what you do. And I am curious to see what you like. And what a fun display of cards. And you wouldn't look oh, yes. at this and even think, you know, those are all just done the same. What is screwed into your glue bottle? This was made for me by Janet Fredericks, um, who may be on here today. This is a shot glass. And if you look at this, she put, this is hot, hot glue gun, hot glue in the bottom. So the cap is permanently stuck in there and then it dries. And then this just screws right on. 
and it stays upright, which is and how you want it to stay. Idaho. So how fun. Oh, good. We're getting all kinds of different ones. Santa Paws looks like it's running, uh, running really high up there. So you guys, let us know if you need the catalog. Watch for our parties uh, starting on Tuesday. And uh, as you're thinking about what to order, if you have any interest um, in thinking about the starter kit or anything, and if you have questions, remember, you can do this just for yourself to get a deal. Call me. I am very available. Call me and chat over your questions so you kind of know if you want to do that or not. And you never get any pressure from me, even whether to get it. I always just like to know, does this fit your life or not? It doesn't matter. We just love having you all in our community. We do. And have it's a wonderful, a wonderful weekend. Community. I guess I have to make Tim work extra hard next week on being creative, but he did a good job of, of telling me to reverse things. So <laughs> thanks everyone. I did. Bye. Goodbye.